Hello everybody, good Mark Scott here, and today I'm bringing you all a piece of silver plate that I happen to just stumble upon in the auctions, and it's not very very often that I come across a piece that kind of just has me flum flummoxed, a bit baffled about what it could possibly be worth, and this is not one of these times where I'm just, I'm kind of shocked at what I stumbled upon. It's just so unique and unusual that um, there's really nothing to go off of from what I'm looking at and look look at this guys what what is this dude and look at look at like the the background it's so gorgeous like um, I can't tell if this is like hammered like they um they went ahead and um somebody went ahead and hand um hand detailed it i don't think that this was this piece was made mass produced it's it's married in britannia um you all know i i go a bit goo goo for for married in britannia but is this some kind of he he reminds me of russian sort of is could it be like Theodore Dostoevsky or, or whatever, like that, that Russian author, um, really, I don't know, and what do the, the plants symbolize, it looks kind of almost like holly, that's what I thought it was, and we've got spider webs, very lush flowers, um, some birds here, These pieces weren't made like a million pieces like this in, in like a, a pattern, you know? Like, I can't just look it up. A lot of Meriden Britannia was pretty pretty damn unique, and, and a, perhaps a, a buyer would have told them what they, what they were wanting, and then they could have had, like, silversmiths who tried to put their visions... In, out into real life it does say 178 but looking that up didn't give me any anything to go off of the um, the piece is very well put together for something that looks this fragile the feet are very cool the legs I mean For how old this stuff is, they certainly had quite a quite a decent soldering. They had quite decent soldering down pat. I'm sure I could break it if you took like a hammer or something, but it looks like it would take quite a bit of effort. Definitely not flimsy. Well. What would they have used it for, guys? Like, it looks like a cake stand, or you could put a small cake on it. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did finding it. And I'm going to list it. I don't know how much to ask for it. Shooting for the stars here, 240 bucks. Probably will sit there forever, and in that case, I'll just get to keep it. <laughs> I have no doubts to say. Because it's definitely a unique piece, and I I would hate to let it go for, for a little bit. Alright, that's it, guys. Good marks, good out. What should I name that guy, though? So crazy.